Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this wonderful? Oh, boy. Uh, it's a wonderful Sunday morning. <laughs> Apparently, my stream deck is having a seizure right now. It's just randomly inputting controls. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, we'll quit that program for now. <laughs> Reopen it, see what happens. That is very weird. Uh, <laughs> I tried switching a background, and it's turning my... My key lights on and off. It's uh, very interesting. Uh, but, well, everything else is working good today. <laughs> Couldn't have it all, right? Okay, let's see. That program's open and running again. Let's see what happens if I hit this button. Damn it, you're not supposed to do that. Why are you doing this? Come on. You can do it. Oh, my God. How about you? Will you do it? Okay. Well, you work. That one works. Why? Why, why? What the shit? All right. This is strange. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. Why would you do such a thing? Hang on. Let's see. What we got going on here? Let's see if I could change it to this display. So, this should be what I'm dealing with here so if I hit this button which accessory all it works lights go off lights go on that's right this one when I hit this button it turns my lights off why 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 come you do that what if I hit again what why I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. I was adding new profiles to my stream deck. What if I just got... What if I put this one over here? Maybe it's something with the screen. Maybe the screen's actually effed up. Oh, yeah, that works. Interesting. So if you guys aren't in entirely familiar with what a stream deck is, it's basically like a... a uh, I don't know. It's a stream deck. Look it up. <laughs> you guys will figure it out. Uh, for some reason, when I pushed my, my new folder I created, it was also hitting the uh, the key light button, which is really weird. But I've also I've also shocked this thing like a million times. Uh, it seems like every time I touch it, especially when it's a little bit cooler out like it is now, I, uh, I get a good shock, and it shuts off. And then i got to re-unplug, plug it back in. It's... Uh, that's weird. Mm. Coffee, 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 coffee. Need coffee. Coffee's good. All right. Here we go. Got some background music on there. How's everybody doing this morning? Welcome to my world of shit that I live in that is... Basically, I just keep digging my own hole by adding more and more stuff to this whole streaming rig. It is a absolute total show here. <sighs> I, it looks impressive if you take a big step back. It looks like, oh, wow, that's awesome. But it's all held together very, it's barely held together. It barely works. Although this is two weeks in a row, two weeks now that I've come down here, turned everything on, and it all worked. Even the even the key lights. Like, usually I've got to turn them off, turn them back on so they can find the network and all that happy horse. But this is this is two weeks in a row. Of everything just freaking working, except for this little minor malfunction with the uh, the uh, stream deck. I'm not entirely sure why it does what it does, but I'm gonna move that button back. I'm gonna put this one over here. See this? So this is nope, nope. There. All right. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this guy back here. It seemed like pushing in the center was activating this one, so I'll put this folder here and. There we go. All right, let's, let's just push this. Nope. Why? That is weird. I'll put that back there. See what happens. I don't know. Try one more time. Well, now it seems to be working. Except for that's not working. Yeah, maybe I'll just delete this. There we go. Oh, yes. Let's watch. 
Kai add stuff. Uh, key light. Let's go to stream deck. Uh, well, let's see, copy. Back to this one. Right here, and we'll go paste. So, all, all. Well, let's see if that works now. That's off. That's on. Going to my folder. Seems to work. All right, we'll just leave it at that. I don't know what's going on, but it's working. Uh, House FPV over in the uh, the Discord chat says, uh, need to set up Home Assistant. You're absolutely right. I do need to set up Home Assistant. Uh, I'm missing this one key feature. It's called Time. I don't have it. Do not have time. Um, but yeah, all right. Up, let's go to the chat. Let's say hi, hi to everybody this morning. Mike N, first in the chat. Good morning. Man, you were here really early. Ryan as well. Robbie Store, thank you for coming out today. Uh, Robbie playing along with my uh, 2022 FUV Secrets Chopper. Uh, thank you so much. Free Lojo, how you doing? Not sure what day it is. Thought yesterday was Sunday. I have no idea. Well, obviously it's Sunday, but yeah, this week's been a mess. Dial up, how you doing? Am I here early? Yeah. Paul, McM Paul McDonald, how you doing this morning? Kevin Smith? Good morning as well. Lawrence, how you doing? Um, North 49 SC, how you doing? House, thank you. Glad to have you here. Uh, Aethic Show, what's up, man? Free Lojo? Good morning. I think I already said good morning to you. John K, how you doing this morning? Uh, Jory FPV, good morning. William Tam, how are you doing? It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, not here, it's uh, sunny as shit and it is beautiful outside. Um, I, Growing up in Michigan my entire life and then moving to the south just recently, I feel like the people in the south, uh, you don't deserve Christmas. You don't have to deal with snow. It adds a whole other dynamic to the winter time. <laughs> It sure does. Mike Bergman, how you doing this front morning? Uh, yeah, uh, my internet has been awfully weird these last two weeks. So far, so good. We'll, uh, hopefully it stays that way. Mr. Yellow Dan, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Glad to have you here. <laughs> nice talking to you. Um, Mike Bergman, uh, more enough shot. How you doing? Uh, Free Ranch Chicken, how you doing? Oh, uh, let's see. Lava. Brandon Baked Beans, how you doing? Busy man. Jamie. Just plain old Jamie. <laughs> how you doing this morning? Uh, it's Saturday, yeah. It's Saturday depending on where you live. Um, uh, YouTube did the old, the old comment jumpy thing. Uh, let's see where we are. Oh, Rick, good morning. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Rick Zapata is going to have his uh, his Discord live stream 3D printing chat tonight. Uh, hopefully, I can make it. I got to go drop somebody off at the airport this afternoon, so maybe I'll be driving home. Who knows? Ah, Morton Upshot. I got distracted with the lights, and uh, your wish is my command. It is unlocked. All right, let's see. I need to go to Google Docs, go to Google Forms, and November giveaway responses. 32 responses. All right, we'll, we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. Boost and JDM, how you doing this morning? Uh, always, always up in, in the, uh, the Discord there. Um, lots of really cool 3D printing ideas and uh, just, I don't know, just general help. Glad to have you there. Uh, Brandon Baggins got to fly a long-range wing with DJI yesterday. It was fun. Wings go fast. Wings do go fast. Um, the uh, like I when I've flown FPV wings, it's not bad. But then when you go back and watch a DVR, it's like it's sickening. Just the the micro bobbles you see the whole time. It's like ugh. I was flying through that. Oh man. <clears throat> and Cora says hi. Hi Cora. Thanks for uh, consuming more of my internet. The, the, the little bit I have. Oh, God, it's a little bit of internet here. Um, 250 is going to be sick with the O3 air unit. Will the O3 air unit fit in the, um, the sub 250? 
or the 250. Um, that that new camera is gargantuan. Yeah, or something like what I had. Um, was it run, Brandon? Was that running a, a flight controller with any sort of a flight stabilization? I'm curious. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the now that the O3 air unit from DJI is out, I'm really kind of considering. Uh, uh, getting that system, but I think I'm still going to hold off until uh, until we see whether they actually uh, make the O3 or the the new V2 goggles, not the goggles, the goggles V2, not the goggles V2 of the goggles one, whatever the new ones are. I don't know. Their, their naming scheme sucks. Uh, I want to see if those <clears throat> are backwards compatible with the uh, the OG air units and Vistas. Um, if it does, I will definitely be on that uh, that that hype train, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I do like that the O2 or the the DJI FPV digital goggle V2 is compatible with the O3 air unit. Man, their naming scheme sucks. This is gonna be hard to keep track of. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the all wag on a wing is uh, is ridiculous. It, it is very nauseating, but it's different when you're flying it. I, I don't know why. I don't really notice it, but when um, when I'm watching the DVR back, it is is bad. Uh, frisbee toss. Uh, the sadness every time the auto launch doesn't work. Great with uh, Zode Copilot. I find that I just put it on a level, keep it throttle and toss. Um, I have a Zode Nano Talon hanging up right about there. Um, I've only flown it a few times uh, to show you how long ago I flew it. It's uh, It's got uh, FR Sky R9 in it. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, 03 will stabilize those bobbles. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Um, which is nice that uh, it uh, is actually uh, able to be worked on with uh, Gyroflow, which is pretty cool. Waiting for the goggles O2 light. Yeah, I don't really give two shits about um, having head tracking or the uh, the touch panel, whatever BS. I'm just curious what else you're going to lose. Um, my guess would be is when the O2 light comes out, it's probably going to be like... I would hope they would at least make it 6S compatible and not using their funky uh, 2S uh, lithium ion pack that they have, but um, you never know. Yeah, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's any better latency. Um, I think it's you know it's just a better picture and better uh, range. V1, V2, and G2. Goggles V2, gotcha. Oh, it's so dumb. Mike Bergman says, if anybody needs Crossfire receivers, let me know. Um, I believe FV Exchange is doing a buyback for basically any other, any receivers for um, Happy Model Express LRS, if that's what you're going with. Um, uh, kind of like what TBS was doing for FR Sky. FV Exchange was doing for everybody uh, to get into Express LRS. Fogging issues on the goggles too. Yeah, I heard that that is an issue. Um, my old Fat Sharks fogged up really bad. I, I had to learn how to basically breathe differently wearing those things. Um, Yeah, yeah, there's no rudder. Um, I mean, to resell the Crossfire receivers, I get that. I guess there. Uh, Mike, are you selling Crossfire receivers, or do you need Crossfire receivers? All right, so let's get some stuff out of the way this morning. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, my name is Dan, the uh, channel. Uh, welcome back to Tweet FUV. Um, glad you got here. Um, uh, Tweet FUV, do you know where I can find the spec calculator? Yes, it's in the description of this video. Um, or it, it should be. I'm pretty sure I left it in there. Um, I 
think I put it towards the bottom. Yeah, uh, very bottom spec calculator uh, in the description. Um, yeah, so it's right there. So something new, I used to have this uh, light list command for Lumia Stream, it doesn't seem to work anymore. So if you click on the link that I just dropped in the chat there, you will get this window that pops up or this uh, web page. And no, wrong, there we go. Uh, and this is all the commands to control the LED lighting in my room. And there's a uh, there's some animations there, or like, what they call them animations. And if you want to activate one, you just uh, exclamation point or you can click on it and it'll copy it to your clipboard and just, I think it'll copy it anyways. Maybe not, I don't know. I thought it did, whatever. But yeah, just pop it in there and after a little bit of time, the lights should change. Probably not. There we go, see, there you go. And I think there's a 60 second timeout on it, so it'll just queue them all up and uh, roll through them. Um, we'll work with that a little bit, working on some other animations or automations, I guess, the stream deck. I don't know, kind of fun stuff. Uh, stuff that I find entertaining myself. I'm not really sure why, but I do. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to be doing the uh we're gonna be doing a live giveaway for this this is the nanofly 16 if you want to get in the uh the giveaway for this uh you'll have to figure out where to do that um the people who already know where it's at shut the f uh because that's just gonna screw up your chances you know you know 39 people on the list uh for the wheel for this um winner does have to pay for shipping because um yeah shipping is getting expensive actually it's always been about the same it's just more of it <laughs> it's expensive you know uh kenny yeah i don't know what that one's gonna be uh, i still need to fix the hot spots in this thing i need to run another power tap to about right around there to evenly distribute the uh 24 volts of power So, weather's been kind of shit this week. Real rainy, cold-ish. Uh, haven't had any any time to fly, plus had family in town, things like that. So, hopefully you guys are getting a chance to go fly wherever you're at. What are your thoughts? Um, power injection, just like that. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new DJI uh, O3 air unit? Good, bad, you should set up Home Assistant on stream. I would, except for, um, I would probably start swearing and be demonetized. Uh, stuff like that kind of irritates and frustrates me after a while. Uh, plus, I've got a lot of competing, or a bunch of different, um, different companies of lights. Like, so so the, the thing on the couch and the, this guy, those are all WLED. These are um, Yi Light, I think. That's Yi Light. These are like in and that fan and that fan over there. Those are uh, um, Smart Home or something like that. I don't know. Like Lumia Stream controls all that. I'm sure Home Assistant would, um, and I'd probably set up Home Assistant to run on my NAS, but. Um, I'm I, I'm honestly a little afraid of showing too much information, uh, setting that kind of stuff up. Uh, I don't know what what people can do with uh, what information, but I figure I would screw up and show something I shouldn't. You know what I mean? The the other thing is I don't want to break what I have um, in the process. Uh, I, I I do need to look into it though. It's been on my list. Um, Honestly, I'm waiting to find out if I'm moving this summer before I deal with any of that stuff because there's a lot of uh, smart switches and stuff like that that I want to put uh, around the house, and I'm not going to bother putting any money into it if uh, if I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Morton Upshot says the O3 looks nice if you can fit that monster camera in your frame. Yeah, that that camera is a honking bastard. Uh, I don't like the fact that they uh, they did away with the through hole mounting on the air unit itself. It does look similar size to the Vista, 
But um, I don't know. I, I like I like the the mounting holes going clear through the thing. Um, you can thread. Excuse me. You can thread into it, but I don't know. I'd prefer to go all the way through, kind of like a stack. Yes, I could probably close these. Not real. Uh, put this chat over here. There we go. Uh, so, House FPV, yes, I have seen this. Uh, this is a link to a Thingiverse. Uh, it's a uh, basically a, a replica of the camera. So, if you have a 3D printer or know somebody who does, which, by the way, that is the best 3D printer you can get, and it's the one your buddy has. Uh, have him print that out, and you can uh, go and start trying to jam that inside your frames and see if it'll fit. Um, you might be surprised at how many frames it does not fit, unfortunately. Oh, let's see, where are we at? Um, Mike Burns says I'm going to sell the shit out of a bunch of my spare FPV gear to fund it. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I got a lot of stuff that I uh, kind of want to get rid of. Um, never stream network setups. Yep, exactly. Offsec. Ugh. I have seen some uh, nakedized uh, O3 air units already. So, I mean, that's people are already trying to find a way to take some weight off of it if you had it would you uh would you fly without a um hd camera i mean obviously if you got your uh your props and your standoffs out of sight would you fly with i mean do you think this would i, I i'm sure most of you guys have seen the flight footage out of that uh, 03 air unit do you think it's good enough to replace uh run on a gopro i honestly think it is um Especially if if you're taking video with a GoPro with the intent to put it on YouTube, YouTube already just destroys the quality of whatever you put online. Anyways, um, I know color grading is going to be harder uh, on the, the the O3 Air unit than on a DJI. That the, the color science is just so much better on it. But for the price, I hope it would replace your your uh, your HD camera. Um, of course, the HD camera has a warranty on it can anyways and that 03 air unit probably is not although hopefully you can just buy new cameras I'm kind of hoping that what happens is kind of like what happened with the v1 system where you have this honking air unit and big old camera and then other companies start making smaller cameras and normal form factors or even a smaller air unit like a, 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 a Vista 03 Vista 2. I don't know. I'm hoping... Uh, I, I see... I mean, obviously there's going to be some advancement to the system, just like there was with the first one. Um, we'll see. Uh, how, Hobby Howie FUV says, uh, what do you know about the new firmware updates in the ELRS backpack for the SkyZone 04 goggles? Let's take a look. Um, XP R E S S L R S GitHub. Let's take a look over here. So we got Express L R S backpack. Here we go. We have latest version. So we get a little breakdown of what's happening. So they have an update for the uh, SkyZone Steady View um, onboard L R S target. just a new target um, I've been using a backpack for a long time with the uh, TBS um, fusion module uh, which they definitely say, they say is not supported oh I guess they do say it's supported now I thought they didn't just recently when they update this I swear I looked at this like earlier this week and it said it wasn't supported um all right, well, uh, anyways, I've been using it with the TBS Fusion for a very long time. It's been extremely reliable. It works very well. There is a little, um, 
There's a little trick to it. Like um, the transmitter only sends out a signal once to the uh, VRX. So if your video goggles or your goggles aren't already powered on when you change channels through, your, through the Lua, it's not gonna follow. Or at least that's been my experience. Um, but as far as what the difference is with the, the, the new firmware, I don't know. How long ago was that? That was eight days ago. So I'm assuming the uh, SkyZone Steady View has, um, it must already have an ESP32 in it. Yeah, all right. So if you look at the, uh, um, the PR, that module must have an ESP32 already inside of it. That's what I'm guessing. I don't really know specifically. Um, or this ESP32 inside the goggles itself. So. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, man. I don't have a good answer for you on that one. I don't really know what they did differently. Uh, but... Have you tried it yet? <laughs> Steady Eddie, DJI. We give you all the cool stuff you wanted. Now have fun mounting it. Good luck. Yeah, you know, I, I originally said that the, the, the V1 air unit, um, wasn't built for us because there's the fact that there was zero mounting options, zero besides double sided tape and zip ties and hopes and dreams. Uh, it, I don't think it was designed for us. I think they made something or like, I don't know, these idiots will stick it to a drone, let them figure it out. But uh, luckily, the Vista at least had a standard 20 by 20 mounting, like it should have. Uh, I still have the V1 goggles, though. Uh, I have to upgrade. Uh, I don't think the V1 goggles will work with the... Um, anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think the V1 goggles will work with the O3 air unit. I think only the V2. If that's what you are meaning. Uh, yeah, I think uh, from what I understand, the V1 are not compatible with the, the air unit. The V2 are, and then the goggles, V2 obviously are. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. Do you think the other dream would get a uh, get so hot? Double sided tape would uh, malfunction. Yeah, absolutely. I think it. I think it'll get far too hot. So the double sided tape will have to be um, one of two methods of mounting it. Like you'll have to do double sided tape and zip ties or something like that. The double sided tape will certainly help hold it in place, and then the uh, the zip ties will kind of help hold it in place as well. Uh, but I think there is mounting on it. I think you can thread into it. Um, can't find a good picture of it. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, there we go. So from what I understand is not what I wanted to do. Okay, so here's some good pictures of it. So what I what I believe you can do is you take these screws out of the, uh, go away. Uh, you take these four screws out and then you can actually thread screws into it and into the frame. So maybe double-sided tape and then thread some screws in. Hopefully they don't rattle out. If you use a thick enough double-sided tape, it should act as a uh, something to compress against, which should hold these screws in place. Um, I don't know how long those are, but I mean, at least it's an option. Yeah, people are already making naked O3s. 
I mean, it's just like uh, it's just like the um, DJI or the HD GoPro Hero 11 Mini. People are already gutting those things to make lightweight versions. Yeah, Brandon, good point. Uh, you can select a flat color profile for the O3 Air unit. Problem is, is whatever you set as as your video recording quality, that's what you see coming through to the goggles. Um, so this kind of goes back to the uh, the original, uh, like the OG run cam splits. Like you can change. Uh, video quality and things like that you can add ND filters problem is you're looking through one lens and that lens is recording to the SD card and it's also being transmitted back to the goggles so um, unless they do like a, a Cadex Tarsier setup uh, if, if anybody remembers that guy um, this thing here it's Cadex Tarsier the the two lens deal um, unless they're doing something like that or they're doing some sort of post-processing magic to, to make that happen. Um, I mean, there, there's no reason they couldn't do it. It would probably just add latency where they would color correct it on the transmission side but keep it flat on the uh, on the DVR side. And by the way, I didn't realize a Tarsier was a real thing. So, I mean, you look at the Catech Tarsier and then you look at this and you're like, oh, okay. Well, that, that kind of makes sense. I thought they were just making up words. <laughs> I showed my daughter the, uh, it and I called it a Cadex Tarsier. She's like, oh yeah, I like Tarsiers. I'm like, what? Yeah, apparently it's a, it's a thing. Uh, Nerdcopter, no audio. You're right, no audio. But who cares, really? I mean... Does anybody really care? Uh, all right, here we go. Let's let's do the, the YouTube -y thing. Uh, start a poll. All right, I'll just put up a poll. Uh, do you care about quad audio in your recordings? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I have heard that it is 25 by 25 mounting, which I think is also what the Avada or the Avatar system uses. Um, get the drill out. JB Weld, yeah, there you go. Probably crack it. Um, uh, Boost and JDM, remove uh, case screws, use longer ones. That's uh, what I say in YouTube vid. Yep. That's all. M1.6? Really? Not M2? Great. That's... That's... Awful. Um, Brandon Bapin's UR UAV analog module works good for 60 bucks. Does not freeze, glitch. Um, 30 degree cone. Uh, Loctite or tweeze case Vibratite. Yeah, don't use Loctite. Loctite's for uh, people that don't know. Vibratite. I don't have any over here to show you. But. E drone, uh, thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. Happy Thanksgiving, Dan. Keep up the great work. Thanks, man. Uh, glad to see you here. Hi. Hopefully, you're having a great uh, holiday weekend. I cannot wait for the emails to stop. All the hate come buy our stuff that's discounted after we jacked it up two hundred dollars and we took two hundred dollars off of it. So it's exactly the same price, but we look like we're giving you a discount. Although uh, I did get a pretty damn good uh, discount on filament through um, Amazon. Let's see if they're still running it. They are. Um, so I print a lot of PETG and uh, I, I use Overture all the time. It used to be Amazon Basics, uh, but it's Overture now. Uh, a roll, a, a 1K roll is going for $16. Um, pretty good stuff. I've used their um, their TPU. It's also very good. Um, not as good as Sane Spart, but it's pretty good. 
But yeah, uh, if you're looking for some restocking your filament, uh, this refrigerator over here is basically full of filament at this point. I just need a place to stick it all. This this bookshelf here is getting kind of full. Uh, let's see. Fiber tight. Let's see. V I B R N T R G C. Let's come on. Not typing. There we go. This is what you all should be using instead of Loctite. This is the product. It does tend to dry up after a while, but um, maybe not that particular link I just posted. I didn't realize that that was for like a, a seven pack. There we go. This is better. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's, that's more or less reasonable. Uh, <clears throat> it does last a very long time if you keep the cap clean and, and uh, airtight. It does work really. So what's really cool about this stuff is like, say you're gonna you're building a quad, you lay out all your motor screws and you just spread it on all the screws. You just let it sit there and dry. And when you go to thread it in, the friction from the threads going into the motors will basically reactivate it. It's almost like sap. It's really good stuff. It's way, way better. Um, it's way better than uh, like the standard blue Loctite. Uh, Lawbart says we can't get the red sticky stuff over here. Oh man, that, uh, I wonder why. I wonder if it's environmental reasons. Uh, maybe I could. I don't know if that would end up flagging it. Well, we can talk later. <laughs> My price dumped like $60 of tight out. Oh, God, that sucks. Such nocturnal. Yeah, no kidding. With those big-ass eyes. Um... Uh, E-Drone, uh, please tell me you have some HG Zero goggles coming. I know you got the OG ones. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I uh, I bought those when they came up for pre-order. I bought the bought the goggles, bought the uh, the module bay, and I bought the 90 FPS camera. I basically, clicked everything they had that was new. Did like the the Super Express Fast Ultra Expensive going to get here way later than you think shipping. Um, yeah, I did buy a set. Um, Honestly, I think my <laughs> my <laughs> I think my HC Zero goggles look better, but um, they have since been destroyed and repurposed for other things. Uh, so I wish I still had them to compare them. I wish I still had them. A lot of people didn't like that. A lot of people did not like that that April Fool's video, but whatever. <laughs> if they can't take a joke, you know. Uh, but yeah, I do have a set coming. I'm very excited about them. Um, very excited. Uh, Mobby 7 replacement parts. Uh, where are they? Specifically the camera VTX combo. Um, I got the camera VTX, but can't get OSD. Um, hmm. Did that use a combination camera VTX or was the VTX built into the flight controller? Mobula 7. Camera. <laughs> I thought it had, oh yeah. Huh. Did it have an AO, AO camera? My bet is you'd be able to find it on, um, Banggood or AliExpress. Um, I've, you know, a lot of people are afraid to order from uh, AliExpress. I order it from AliExpress all the time. I've had zero issues with it. It's, um, 
It's actually not a bad place. Oh my God, where'd the time go? It is 11.43. Uh, we are gonna spin the wheel for this little guy here. Uh, if you guys haven't gotten in on the giveaway for this, I found the entry form. Um, you know where to do it. Uh, and if you are one of these cool kids up here, you are not automatically signed up. I can't automatically sign you up for giveaways. That's something that you have got to do. Um, especially since you're going to have to pay for shipping. So just know that if uh, if you think that being a patron automatically signs you up, it does not. You need to do it yourself. Uh, let's see. It's 11.43. When did I say I would spin the wheel? 11.45. We'll give it a few minutes and uh, make sure everybody gets in there. 43 people signed up right now. Let's go ahead and set up a wheel just for, just for funsies. All right. Uh, back over the chat. There's no answer. Yes, yes. Um, if you can't get OSD, the OSD is usually the OSD is derived from the flight controller. So there may be something on the flight controller side that you uh, have a bad connection to. Um, I like audio and my HD for uh, crashes mostly. Yeah, it is good for diagnostics. Um, all right, let's go ahead and end this. So most of you guys want audio in your recordings. Okay. Is it a deal breaker? Yeah, uh, that filament price is pretty darn cheap, and it's uh, it's good stuff. Boosted JDM. Uh, if you uh, if you knew how much filament I go through, um, there's a, there's a reason I'm stocking it is because I don't want to run out because I do go through a awful lot of filament. Uh, North 49 RC. Yeah, I store it in the refrigerator. The refrigerator, the refrigerator is off. It's just basically occupying space, and it's like, um, let's see, let's turn the lights on. So there you go. So that this. From here to here, that's all filament, and I was kind of running out of space, so might as well fill up this uh, this refrigerator because it's just wasted space. Uh, it's off. I, probably if I turned it on, it would actually, I mean, it would dehydrate the film, or it would keep the moisture out of the air, right? Uh, Brandon Make Pings when I play back cinematic FPV video videos from other people um, often mute the video or mute the audio. Freestyle can't benefit from flight audio for that uh, visceral feeling. Yes, I agree. It certainly can. That red isn't the never get back part. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, the red Loctite, like um, Loctite, was it 442? That stuff is permanent. The fact that this is red has nothing to do with that. Um, so if anybody doesn't know, Loctite is actually, you know, it has colors for grading. So red, high strength, the 262, that stuff is permanent. Permanent heat basically removes it. What we would normally use in a hobby is 242, the blue stuff. 209s for like holding bearing races in place. Purple's like super low tension. Um, you would never really need it. Uh, the Vibratite stuff is uh, red for no other reason than just being red. Uh, it's not, uh, this, it, the, the color coding is not the same. Yeah, Vibratite never hardens. It's it it's it's a lot like tree sap. It just it it's just always tacky. Um, uh, steady Eddie, while putting my X-Lite Pro back together, placing the main board. I think I'm going to add the LRS video here. Rebuild video. Uh, don't put one of the batteries in backwards. Yikes, that sucks. I was always wondering what would happen. Oh, no OSD because there's no physical link. Red and black wires only. Gotcha. Okay. 
Market Zero says it is a deal breaker. Yeah. Uh, fridge works well for beer. Uh, North 49RC, I kind of stopped drinking beer. Uh, I was getting kind of fat from it and then other things, but uh, just switched to hard liquor at this point. <laughs> uh, you get conversation as soon as the cold film hit the warm air. Okay, good point. Good point, Borked. Um, all right, guys. If you haven't gotten in on the giveaway too late, Shutting it down in five, four, three, two, and one. We have 43 people entered. Let's get you guys on the wheel. There we go. Boom. So here is the wheel. 43 people. And, uh, uh, brand new first XYZ cube this morning. Interesting. Good. Good for you, man. I just don't understand FV exchange. What don't you understand about FV exchange, Mike Bergman? But sniffing glue is keto friendly. Well put. Well put. Mike Bergman, you know how this all works. 22. 22. Um. search function uh yeah there are issues with the search function um i i have sold a lot of stuff on fb exchange um and it, it the searching for stuff's kind of weird um it doesn't do very well with not putting in the exactly exactly the right words which is the thing i don't like about most search places where their their search terms are like their their search criteria is so like it has to be perfect otherwise you're not going to find what you're looking for um fv exchange could certainly uh be better but you know it is what it is uh it's great for selling stuff i've sold a lot of stuff there the the way it goes about selling is you put the product on there it says is this what it is you click on it, it goes okay here's what it is for for sale right now new Here's what you should sell it for if you want to sell it now, or if you want to like kick the tires, or if you want to like have hold out for the best price. Works out really well. I like it. Um, but if you type in the key, if you type in what you're looking for, it'll basically like auto complete, and you can kind of pick through the, through through there. Um, oh yeah, like exactly what Brandon's saying right now. <laughs> um, I also bought a lot of stuff through the uh, Facebook um, uh, FPV marketplace as well, but there it's a little bit easier to get scammed. Anyways, let's move over to the wheel here. Uh, we got 43 entries. Let's go ahead and uh, shuffle this guy up. And good luck, everybody. Got 22 seconds on the clock for the Nanofly 16. This one is Express LRS, brand new in the box. Uh, I very much enjoy this quad. Make sure you uh, tighten all the screws down before you go fly, as you should with any pre-built. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one. Spin in the wheel. Who's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be... I don't know it's going to be. <clears throat> Where are we going to end up? It's going to be John or it's going to be House. Is it John? John, congratulations. I I feel like you've won before. Congratulations, John Keen, I believe. Congratulations. You were the winner of the uh, the Sub-250, or GEP RC, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, Nanofly 16, congratulations. Um, hit me up over on uh, Discord or Patreon, or eventually I'll send you an email because I have all your information. That's why I use the Google Forms. It makes my life so so much easier anyways if you guys want to get in on december's giveaway which is going to be uh typically i usually do a pretty big giveaway in december um for five dollars and up patreons you will get the link when i make it uh when i make the link so you'll get it early so you don't have to be around for the live stream everybody else the entry link goes live when i go live for the giveaway so if you want to make sure you get on the list, five dollars and up. Plus, that supports the you know the typical. The money I spend at um, 
uh, what, uh, uh, Epidemic Sound is more than what I make in YouTube ad revenue. Let that sink in. So why am I worried about... Uh, yeah, anyways, just saying. Oh, how so close. Yeah, man, that was so close. Uh, also, thank you to all the uh, my, my awesome Discord members that are participating in the 2022 Secret Shopper. Uh, most of you guys have already uh, purchased for your, your person, however you want to phrase that, uh, and provided shipping information. I greatly appreciate that. There's a couple stragglers left that... Uh, we got to get hammered out, and there's one that I am actually worried about. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, John. Uh, Lobart, so close. Yeah, man, that would have that would have been perfect. Um, uh, John K, I won the the little battery powered solder iron. That's right, that's what you won. You won the uh, battery powered solder iron. But uh, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Um, Uh, YouTube just messed up. Yeah. Um, been dropping frames the whole stream. Is that, I don't think that's me though. Uh, stream health. So yeah, my, this has actually been working out really well this entire live stream. I'm sure as soon as I said that it's going to start dropping frames. We'll see. Um, so far it seems to be working all right. Uh, I have the 1.6 mosquito 19,000 KV motors. Well, hey, put fly around. Yeah. <laughs> Great timing. Um, no for nice. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Bardwell should be up here in about five minutes. Um, yeah, I'm watching my my counter here. I don't. I haven't dropped anything. Free range chicken. 999 super chat. Thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate it. This is uh thanks for the great stream. I, thanks for coming out, man. Really appreciate it. 10 minutes. Uh, so anyways, um, I have a couple ideas of what I want to do for the December giveaway. Um, haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm, I'll put a poll out to the, my patron members. Um, we'll let you guys see what it is you want to do. Uh, nobody, Nobody comments on how Bardwell literally does Bardwell. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, now I'll put up a poll. Uh, we'll see uh, see what you guys want. Uh, I got a couple things there. Um, one thing might be kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what you guys think. We'll see. Flickr, yeah, so this is a new uh, animation from, uh, you know, that I set up in Lumia Stream. I don't know. Maybe Lawrence, maybe. We'll see what, we'll see what the, we'll see what the folks say. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, you don't need to know. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I need to get out and start tuning that uh, beast class. That thing's next on my list. Um, been contemplating updating to um, Express OS 3.0. I don't see a reason to yet. Anyways, so yeah. send me the beast logs. I will. Uh, I got to get a log out of it. Sounds weird. Um, yeah, I gotta get uh, I gotta get some logs for uh, the beast class. Um, like I said, it's definitely just not it's not on the uh, it's not been on the high priority list. <laughs> Lawrence is not paying for shipping though. <laughs> That's gonna be the thing. It's, it's gonna cost a lot to ship whatever it is. is. 
Rev FV, good morning, man. Uh, we're about to get out of here, so thanks for showing up. Appreciate it. <laughs> beast logs, big old beast logs. I really wish I would have made that 12s when I when I built it. Unfortunately, uh, that was that was the difference between like super expensive and far too expensive for me to uh, to fund. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Well, winding down here. We're going to get out. Um, hopefully, everybody has a great weekend, a great next week. Uh, get out. Go th go fly. Um, all the patrons, uh, if you don't get the notifications from Patreon, uh, I would try to <laughs> figure out how to fix that. Um, uh, yeah, so if I did, uh, it would be disassembled. Uh, all the arms would be detached. And I would remove the uh, the the AS twenty seven connectors, whatever the hell they call the the battery connectors. I have I would have those removed. Um, it will be up to the person that receives it to reassemble it, just so you have some stake in it. Honestly, uh, if I were to win something like that, the first thing I would do is throw the frame right in the trash and buy a good frame. The frame sucks. I hate the frame on it. Uh, actually, the frame on this on the the X class here is exactly why I decided to just build an entire beast class from scratch. I wanted to repurpose this frame to save some money, but the frame is so infuriating to work in. It is such a horrible design. It flies fine. It's just it's just a pain he has to work on. Um, the fact that if you want to get one arm off or get to anything, you have to take all four arms off, which is one, two, four, six, eight, like M5 bolts and nuts. No, eight, 16. So you got two to go through the side, two to go through there. Carbon fiber plates sandwich everything together just to get the top plate off to get to your electronics. Sucks, pain in the ass, awful. Or if somebody just wants to buy the Beast class, you know, I'm, I'm open to I'm open to offers. Hit me up, twfv at gmail.com, over on Patreon, whatever. I'll, I'll let it go cheap. <laughs> I'd rather sell it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'd rather sell the damn thing. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. It might be fun. We shall see. All right, guys. It's noon. I'm done. I got places to go, people to take to airports and all that. So thanks for coming out today. Uh, hopefully you guys had fun and enjoyed the live stream. Uh, congratulations to uh, John Keen, again, winner of the Nanofly 16. Kids here. What's up? All right. We'll see you guys later. I got to go have fun with <laughs> just thumped her in the face with my elbow. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Uh, head over to Joshua Bardwell's channel to keep the fun going. And after that, um, what are you dead now? Yeah. And after that, uh, hang out for Aaron Ciotti. We'll see you all next weekend. Bye, guys. Congratulations, John King. All right, I'll see you guys.